We're back. back. Yes. And we're back. Or... Back with another movie vlog, or movie vlog as I call it. Yes, yeah, sorry for the delays, guys. I know it's been a month, over a month, yes. Yes, since uh, the... Um, commando. The, the Commando video, and uh, apologies for the lack of video from me personally. Getting hit by a car is not a simple matter. Yes, but you're good. Mostly. You're almost back, All right, guys? Pretty much back. But if you haven't already seen, or at least read the title on, the, on YouTube, we saw a Robocop. Well, which one did we see today? Three. Yeah, here's the. Tr <laughs> this is the trilogy that we got at a uh, BMB. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. it's like finally, finally we got around to seeing RoboCop. So we're not just gonna talk about RoboCop three, because uh, I was hoping we'd uh, talk about all three of them, but maybe not too extensively about it. But sure. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. So, uh, let's go on on how we got around to watching the entire RoboCop series. Do you remember uh, why? Yeah, we started off with. Um... Uh, well, it started off in Dollarama when I found Robocop 3 Resurrection and I gave it to you. Yeah, it uh, started with Resurrection. Uh, I think, was that before the the uh, Robocop uh, stream that I did? Uh, the NES I think it was, was after. I think it was after that because it's like, yeah. oh, well, since you went all out for it, you must be a fan of Like, yeah. what, you know, that's one of your fan things that uh, you like. So it's like, oh, hey, I saw this. I wonder if Dan, if uh, D. Tyson ever saw it. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. Sad. Yeah, Robocop 3 Resurrection, but you haven't seen it then, and then, like, I think that's how we got started on the whole watching, uh, doing movie nights and whatnot. It, so we yes, saw that. Started. We're not going to talk about those series. <laughs> We're going to talk about the main ones. So we saw that yeah. one, and, uh, and you, and I was like, well, I'm not that impressed by it. But you were like, no, this is not how, this is not how it is. So one of the few times next time you bought, you brought, <laughs> brought the, the original, yes. Yes. Brought this one, yeah. The steel bookcase version, which this is my copy of it. Yeah. That I bought. Because, uh, and after seeing that, he became a big fan. <laughs> Look at all this! Yeah, he's got like every version of. <laughs> well, except for the Criterion. Yeah, Criterion, version. yeah. It's true. I got the Blu ray version of it. I got the. I got the special. Ver special 20th anniversary version of it, which is the same, which is basically extended. The steel bookcase version. The theatrical only version. And then, of course, the trilogy, which. Hmm. Right in the middle, yes. And all these participating stories said, thank you for your cooperation, right? <laughs> thank sure you for it. your purchases, more likely. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, so. Yeah, you got them all. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty insane. I gotta say, it's yeah, like you became a big, a big fan. Yes. <laughs> like they're they're pretty much almost all the exact same one with some slight differences. The theatrical one only had the, the censored version. The yeah. special editions one had the extended one and also the extra features. And then the Blu-ray one just has stuff. Each one, each one is slightly different. Which is cool. Yeah. Like uh specifically like the menu and all that stuff. But overall, yeah. So I I have been meaning to like get RoboCop trilogy uh at HMB, but that was nineteen ninety nine. At BMB, it was four ninety nine, which is an excellent deal. I yes, gotta say, it was. So, RoboCop one, directed by Paul Verhoeven, starring Peter Weller, um, Kurtwood Smith, yeah, uh, Kurt Smith, he's... Nancy Allen, and uh, a bunch of other people. Not that they're not worth naming, but like you know the important, the, the main guys. So and yeah, I really, I really enjoyed the entire series. So thank you for introducing me to it. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes. So yeah, with the, with the first one, uh, what do you remember the most? Uh, oh, it's what? just the first one is the best one. Like it's just an, it's just like an epic. It, it's just epic. I just really like like how it's told the action scene, and I just don't know. It's just done very well. It's supposed to be like a like a satire on corporation. Yes, in a way. Yes, that is true. And then there was a the whole thing with Robocop and. Uh, Alex J. Murphy being like Jesus coming back from the dead. Yeah, ba basically in like uh, old Detroit, it's been run over by like all these gangs and uh, or you know bad problems. Yeah. And Kurtwood Smith, the guy from that '70s show, yes, that <laughs> Kurtwood Smith, who I also dis uh, who thanks to this movie I went to watch that '70s show. He was played uh, Clarence Boddicker. Yes, and he's uh, he's great in this. Like he's very uh, sadistic. His yeah. acting is so good, I always forget it's Kurtwood Smith. Like, I see yeah. Clarence Boddicker first, and then Kurtwood Smith, and yeah. it's like, oh yeah, it's played by Kurtwood Smith. Man, you were asking me, like, what directors I would have liked to meet, and, like, all the cast and stuff. 
the cast and the director of Robocop. Robocop. Okay, because I never had, like, a favorite director until this. It's like, I own a bunch of other, like, uh, Paul Verhoeven movies, too, like uh, Total Recall and uh, Star Trek Trooper, Star Trek which Trooper. we haven't seen, I think. Not that yet. <laughs> but you've seen Total Recall, and I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, I'm going to watch that, too. Yeah. So, but, uh, yeah, he's very a very dark director. Uh, he grew up in Poland, and there was a lot of uh, war going on around him at a young age, so it uh, definitely definitely traumatized him in some ways, and he's expressing himself through these, these movies. Um but yeah, definitely. Yeah, his like directing was also very, uh, very. Edgy it's very or... different. Yeah, edgy and yeah. different from like typical American stuff. Because you're like, I don't know if you've seen the special ed- or the behind the scenes where like, uh, you know, the scene with the the bitches when oh, was it uh, Miguel <laughs> Farrell was like sniffing cocaine and like, uh, oh, was it Clarence Water comes in yeah. and he's like bitches, bitches leave. leave. <laughs> behind the scene, Paul Her- Paul Verhoeven would just call the those bitch. actors like bitches, <laughs> like. Thank you very much, Beaches. Good job, Beaches. Yeah. Like, he didn't know it was a slur, like a, like a thing, so... Yeah. <laughs> that, was just, that was just funny. And also, I normally don't watch behind-the-scenes stuff that much, but robo-fucking-cop, man. <laughs> I told you that one time where I saw the movie without the, the, the director's commentary, yeah. and then immediately after you that, watched I... watched it with Commentary, like... And it's great. Like, I, I love the series. Uh, obviously, I think... I, I still think Terminator's story is better, but I still love the Robocop. The first movie, anyways. So, yeah. Oh, the city of Detroit is, like, really shitty to live in. Alex Murphy gets transferred to, like, uh, the Detroit Police Department. Teams up with Lewis. Gets shot. First day on the job, mind you. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, gets shot. Comes back at Robocop and starts just kicking ass in the suit of armor and making, like, great quotes. Like, uh, yeah, we make quotes on that, too. Like, drop like, it. I'd buy that. Oh, I'd, I'd buy, buy that, that for a dollar. <laughs> yeah. No move, creep. Dead or alive, you're, you're coming, coming with me. me. What else did you say? Mm. There are some more lines. Uh... <laughs> Serve the there. public trust. Protect the innocent. Uphold, uphold the law. The law. Yeah, that is true. Oh, it's so great. <laughs> like I, I think RoboCop one. I could probably watch it for like eternity. Yeah. Like if I was to be stuck with one movie to watch yeah. over and over again, I'd be the one. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I really like RoboCop, and Daniel or D. Tyson introduced me to it. So, and obviously you you like it to a, a degree too. Yes, of course. Uh, the theme, the main theme, the RoboCop theme, uh, tr- was it Basil? I forget his last name. Oh yeah, Polidarus. Uh, yeah, he did a fantastic score, which uh, we're going to be talking about in the first oh, first one. You hear it a lot. That's that's also another reason why the movie is so epic. Is yes, because of the, the music. Theme. Oh, speaking of Terminator, you remember the trailer for RoboCop? It had the Terminator dun-dun-dun-dun-dun Yeah, dun, it did. Theme. That's yeah, no joke. No. If you see it on YouTube, that is literally the trailer music for it. Yeah. They did not have the RoboCop true. theme. Orion, they didn't Orion it uh, I guess, worked on both and somehow put that theme in there. Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, mind you, in the second one, there was no theme. Yes. The RoboCop theme was missing, guys. Okay, yeah. So RoboCop the well, RoboCop 1, great movie yes. and great stuff. Going into detail would kind of spoil it, and I highly, highly <laughs> encourage you to go watch it. And then we move on to number two, and the later series are not directed by Paul Verhoeven. Super disappointing. He does that a lot, actually, because uh, Hollow Man he directed, which I didn't know, and then the sequel sucked. Starship Trooper, he directed the first one. People liked it, and then the, the sequel one, sucked. Yeah. It's like... Paul Verhoeven, one man, one show, <laughs> but he does a really good show. So Actually, he, who directed the second one? Was it? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, was it Frank Miller? I know he wrote the script, but I don't know if he directed it. Produced, well. filmed. Uh, a John Davison. John Davison. Okay. Uh, we'll just take that. But uh, yeah, Frank Miller was behind the screenplay for it. So technically, he would have. He's like he wrote the script, right? Yeah, and the third one as well. Yeah. And he's the guy who made the whole like Batman beats Superman story <laughs> stuff. So I was, and when I heard it was directed by Frank Miller, I was like, oh, I I had a bad feeling, sort of. And I was kind of right with uh, number two. Number two sucks. Yeah, of. I mean, the only thing I'll, I'll take out from two that was positive was uh, the villain, uh, RoboCop Two, Kane. Kane. Uh, he's a very intimidating villain uh, compared to Ed 209 anyway. Ed 209 initially is very intimidating, oh, yeah. the opening is great scene too. in the first one. 
But then they, they, they show, like, the flaws that makes him, you know, easy to deal with. He can't, you know, go down the stairs. Which was, like, <laughs> it's like Dick Jones. Oh, yeah, the casting in the first one was yeah. great. Uh, Rodney Cox played Dick Jones. I can yeah. probably name the entire, Which, entire uh, cast if I wanted to. I think Paul Verhoeven liked uh, Rodney Cox so much that he actually he casted him in the, the as a villain in Total Recall as well as Cohagen. Yeah, so it's interesting. You got, you got what you want, <laughs> Cohagen. Give these people air. Yeah, yeah, he recasted him in that movie. But uh, we're gonna say yeah. So Ed Two Hundred Nine, you know, initially he's intimidating, but then they show his flaws. You know, he can be dealt with. He can't go down the stairs, and he gets like uh, destroyed easily. Yeah, it gives you twenty seconds before he actually does anything. Oh to yeah, you, and he's so, glitched too. Yeah, he's glitched. So that's... And he does make an appearance in like later movies too. In the second one, he falls in a pothole. I'm like, aren't his feet super huge? How'd he get stuck in a pothole? Yeah. They pretty much just like, oh, Ed 209 is garbage. The garbage is done. So they brought in Kane. Uh, and I think, I mean, having his name as Kane, they call the, the drug in the film Nuke, but they didn't want to call it cocaine. It's supposed to be co- cocaine for sure, but they call it Nuke. Yeah. So but then they called him Kane. So I guess that's Yeah, that was kind of a thing. We, we speculated a lot. And number two just was. Yeah. It explored some element of RoboCop, like his humanity and yeah, stuff. Yeah, he was dealing with it. Like his identity issue, with like, you know, being human. Am I really Murphy yeah. or am I like really a robot or just like purely a robot? It kind of bounced back on it. And they forced him to like, you know, push that, that, that side of it. To be away. completely. Yeah. Not, not, not completely robotic, but like following all these yeah, stupidly the ro- amount the of orders. rules. It was just. RoboCop 2 felt more like a comedy. It did. And then he got hacked, and then he was like all like, oh, kids, don't do that, or something. Like that. And people, like, and the kids, like, wrote yeah. stuff on, on his, like, yeah. back and stuff. And then, like, the part where, like, he got dismembered, and he's like, <laughs> it's like... Yeah, that was a bit too much. That and was just... It was weird. And like, then, then, wasn't there, like, a kid, like, was one of the, the head of the drug... Uh, something, something like, like he, that, he right? ran it, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of messed up. <laughs> but, yeah. That was an interesting but yeah, the cast kind of returns to this RoboCop, uh, or Peter Weller, yeah. Nancy Allen, uh, the old man. Oh, okay, yeah. that's the only guy I don't think I remember his name. Yeah, uh, the guy who played Johnson, the president, he appears in all three films. Uh, the, uh, Sergeant Reed. Sergeant Reed. Yeah. Um, I think that was. A... I think that was kind of mostly it. Yeah. Other than that, but yeah, two. I didn't really. There are good parts in it, like the stop motion is really cool, yeah, and Kane's in the robot. That was really cool. Other, other than that, thing. yeah, not so much. But it's just overall <laughs> not... That ending, I keep harping about the ending, like uh, when Lewis is like, you think people will ever change Lewis? Or, or you think people will ever change RoboCop or Murphy or whatever? Yeah. And RoboCop just has like a drill gun on his head, he's like, well, Lewis, we're only human. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> That's how they end it! And also, no RoboCop theme. theme yeah. <laughs> it was just like... Yeah, it's strange. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, and, able... and the game sucks, too. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I don't know if I'll revisit that game, the NES RoboCop 2. There was an arcade game as well. Probably better than the, the NES version. It was a, more of a beat-em-up, shoot-em-up type game. Yeah, so here's RoboCop yeah. 2, also brought <laughs> by D. Tyson here. Sorry. I tried this game, and the game sucks. If you thought the first game sucked... No, it was actually good. No, it was actually, as far as yeah. movie adaptions go, it was, was pretty fateful. Yeah, and it had the theme, too. This one doesn't. I guess. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't. like. Which is faithful to the movie, I guess. But, yeah. Uh, so, and then uh, we just watched part three for the first time today, guys. So none of us, yeah, so, none like, of us finally. And um, everyone I know was like, oh, Bashing part it. three really sucks. <laughs> part three Including is you, many ninjas. Maybe it's because the and ninja Bayern. cyborgs get their ass kicked. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, let's, let's talk about number three. Yeah. I I actually enjoyed number three. I wouldn't mind watching it again. It was actually quite entertaining. It had uh, it had a good moments actually, and the theme was back. So that was yeah, cool. so that RoboCop instantly game. made it better than RoboCop two. Yeah, uh, director was different again in this one, and so every every movie had a different director. Yes, that was not Paul Verhoeven. Who, no. <laughs> who, oh, speaking of that, Paul he- Paul Verhoeven originally did not want to direct RoboCop because he was like this. This is such a stupid script, but thanks to his wife, thank you, Miss Miss Oh, Verhoeven. actually, really, he didn't want to do it. Oh, yeah, his wife nice. was his wife read it, read through the script and I was like, "No, honey, do read it. this and look at it." And he's, he's like, "Oh my god," because he said it in the comedy. He's like, "Oh, thank you, dear. If it wasn't for you, we would I would not yeah. have directed this." So wow. thank you, Miss Verhoeven. I would <laughs> yes, like to, thank you. Thank you for the cooperation. You. Thank yeah. you for convincing. <laughs> the, oh yeah, that's another yeah. quote. Yeah, yeah, uh, but yeah. Uh, the director of the third one was uh, Fred Decker, I believe. Fred Decker. Yeah, Fred Decker. Uh, it was okay. I mean, they had a. They had a. Th- 
They, it had a theme going. It was we 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 mentioned that it was like a rehash of number two, but done number, like more entertaining. It was basically like, what if we have a kid, unlike the second one, who's like you know a bad kid doing drugs and all that. What if we have a kid who helps Robocop and can actually hack into the system and you know total rehaul OCP. And even hack Ed 209, yes. Oh yeah, Ed 209 makes an appearance, and was then cool. was used pretty well. I was kind of disappointed they didn't use, use him, him more, in, yeah. use him in like the final fight. Use them more. <laughs> but yeah, basically number three, um, they're still trying to build Delta City, and now they're trying to pacif- pacify the neighborhood out. Yeah, so they have to... uh the rehab group. Yeah, rehab group or team, whatever. So they're trying to. Uh, get the people out of there but then they're saying like oh we'll take you to a new home new mm. job and all that stuff but no all that's, shit. All that's <laughs> bullshit there's like another satire of like a corporate where it's like oh we we, we we're we saying we're doing this but we're really not there's a lot, there's a lot of behind the scene things with uh, where it's like uh, the, the Japanese guy uh, played by Mako I forget yeah Mako the Kana- Kani- Kanishiba or something no. yeah I forget the actual yeah, basically, he was working behind, like, OCP and the rehab guys trying to, like, get it all done through. And then you had the cop problem, too, where it's like, we're not going to do this shit. And then you got Bertha trying to start, like, a, a, re- a rebe- rebellion, a rebe- for sure. Yeah. I swear I've seen her before, that actress. I, I think she might have been in End of Days, actually. I think oh, she, really? I think she played a cop in that, I think. I think you're right, actually. I could be wrong, but we'll, we'll double check that once we watch that movie. <laughs> yeah, at some point. But uh, yeah, uh, what else can we say about the the, the plot here? In the um, I forget. Did, did you say this we movie the, was the shortest out of the? I think the first one actually surprisingly. First one is the shortest. This by one two minutes by two minutes. First this one. one's the second short. Robocop two was the longest yeah, one, but uh, Robocop three <laughs> didn't feel that long. It was very short. Yeah. It felt very short. So that's a sign of good movie. I thought it was. Good pace. I, I thought we were still at like fifty ish minutes, but no, we were like well, actually more than that. Yeah, it was a good pace. Uh, we had a. Uh, I think I've seen Billy Madison, but one of the you know the the guy who I guess the rival of Adam Sandler's character or Billy I should say in Billy Madison. Uh, I forget his name in the in the in the Flick. Uh, his name in this one's Fleck, but in the Billy, Billy Madison I forget his name. But anyway, so the same guy who was like the rival of Billy is in this movie, and he's you know he's a dick as well. Should have been just called Dick instead of Fleck, I guess. <laughs> but the Dick Fleck. <laughs> oh, speaking of Flecks, yeah. uh. Peter Weller does not reprise his role in oh, yeah. Robocop that is 3. Good. That is good. a good point right there, guys. He did say he would, and I kind of wish he did now that I've seen the movie, but he said he would do it if the fans wanted it and the fans were like... They apparently didn't want it. So that's probably why you didn't see Peter, Peter Weller. And instead, he's played by... Um, Robert Burke. Robert Burke, who... He did okay. He's, he's all right. I mean, he's he, had, all right. he didn't have the same voice, obviously, but I mean, he did okay. Like I, th- I thought his movements were good, though. Maybe. And then there were a few points where I was just like, "No, oh, that's just not Robocop." When like the kid and Nico was on, was sleeping oh, on, he's like, he's like, "Yeah, he's like." Shh. I was like, "Wow, that's so." I know he's trying to be. It's like his humanity is. Yeah, he's more... trying to. He's trying to reconnect because he realized that she had. Well, actually, I don't... He, he she was relatable to him in a way. Yeah, because like, uh, she lost her family actually. So. Yeah, that never got yeah, resolved. Yeah, actually, no. I hate to see the aftermath. Yeah, there, it's he like ne- he never revealed it to her. Like he just sub- subtly did it. It's like, oh, you, you can remember them. But... They're not really gone yeah, if they're... you remember, remember them. them yeah. <laughs> of course, she wouldn't know at the time. Yeah. And of course, the thing with uh... oh yeah, remember the police armory? How it was like. I think that was supposed to be a satire on how, like, the police is being militarized. Sorry. Oh, what did you I guess it didn't go off. Whatever. Oh, it's still on? Okay. I'll just edit that part out. So, no thank you so, for that interruption. So, sure. where were we talking about? about? like, police force. About... Yeah, being militarized. That's like a satire. Because, like, you saw how many weapons were in there? <laughs> Including the, the rocket pack. The, the rocket pack, which, like... Yeah. Which, uh... I actually didn't mind. I thought it was actually pretty cool. Like, if it, if you're gonna go extreme on yeah. like the goofiness, it's like, just go all the way, and he does. And then he has the retract the Which was replaceable cool. arm, kind of like a mega buster. Yeah, who th- shot bullets. I think what disappointed people with the rocket pack was just maybe the animation of it. It, it does kinda, look kind of yeah, look kinda... cheaply not cheaply made, but like kind of like the way it's done yeah. is very ghetto. Green screen or whatever they use that. <laughs> Yeah, and there were a bunch of changes too. Like for instance, uh, in each each of the movie, there's always like a commercial report or something. But in this one, uh, it also has it too. But then it has the interruption where the reporter lady was like, "Fuck this! I'm not reading this shit." Yeah, which was and walks cool. up and was like, "Oh, that's kind of neat." <laughs> yeah, they're showing that everybody realizes that this is bullshit. It is it's conspiracy, OCP. 
Yep. And then the whole town turns on it. Um... And then they get the, well, I guess OCP gets the punks or the, uh, spl- what are they called? The splatter? splatters. Splatter? Yeah, the, the splatters. splatters. Oh, yeah, that reminds me, like, that, it took, like, 20 minutes for Robocop to make an appearance or something, where, yeah, at, during true. the chase or something, like, 15 or 20. So, but he made a pretty good entrance. What you his entrance where he <laughs> jumps off the built off the parking lot. I'm like, a little bit much. Why I would guess. he ever do that? But it's like you have to drop in. I think as uh, that was point. that's what. <laughs> oh yeah, she dies in this movie. Yeah, that was that was a, that was a surprise. Damn, uh, she actually didn't wear her body armor while she, she's like, oh, I'm off duty. It's like, okay, well, that's that's convenient. And it was like it's like, setting it up right there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's like, why would you not? If you're going with Robocop, clearly yeah. or something. And then you have the whole. Get them for me, promise me, or something. Like oh that. yeah, and then and then the then the rehab team bullshit is saying like, oh, uh, Robocop. Robocop shot uh, his partner, played yeah. by obviously an evil British guy. Yeah, McDaggett says this. <laughs> McDaggett. <laughs> <laughs> oh, th- that's that's that Japanese like robot cyborg thing. They yeah. they built him up to be like this like match against Robocop and it looks like he was about to win, but it's so anticlimactic. It is. It is very anticlimactic. Like you show you see him track they show him tracking him, like kinda like the Terminator. Once tracked, the fight just kinda ends. Like he just shoots him in the face. It's like Yeah, and he has this ridiculous smile or grin on his face. Oh yeah, because they tried of... they tried to play him off as human, but then like a uh... grin. <laughs> Which was kind of weird because his introduction, he was sitting on a rock like meditating, right? Yeah. That's something a human does. Why would a cyborg ever need it? Plus, at the end, you find out that there were more copies of it. It's like, so... You clone them. <laughs> Your clones. Give them to me. Now. Yes. And then there was another thing. Remember it was like that bomb thing? So, when they die, they they would self-destruct. So yeah. why didn't the first one self-destruct? Yeah, the first one didn't self-destruct, which is kind of strange. Uh <laughs> Yeah, it was, yeah, but basically, it, they they built him up to be like this this Terminator for the Ro- for Robocop, and just nope, it, it just he just dies. Well, you know, at around the same time, they they did have the Robocop vs. Terminator comic book by I don't know if Frank Miller worked on that. He possibly did. Um, Sounds appropriate. Maybe they should have just done that movie. That could have worked, but that would have uh, been great. I mean, they, you had Freddy vs. Yeah, Jason. They still haven't done that yet. Uh, I don't know if they'll ever do it. I mean, they eventually did Aliens vs. Predator, so anything is possible. Except but, that uh, one sucked. Yeah. Or like, nobody, nobody, like, the fans didn't like it. Yeah. I, I don't think they really liked it, no. <laughs> I mean, they, they they loosely based it on the comic. They changed a lot of things. But, they they had yeah. the title. That was it. Everything they, else was just they like... They did have that... I forget that woman's name who, like, joins the Predator. That that was also in the comic, but uh, I forget the, her character's name. But, so they kept that, too. But anyway, if they ever do a role cover center... We're gonna go see it, right? Yeah, I would certainly yes. like to, but most <laughs> unlikely. But I would if there was. Yeah, we'll see if they do it. I mean, the third one could, could was kind of tying into that with the whole cyborg going after World Cup Ninja, or whatever. But I guess they they couldn't get the, they couldn't get Arnold to be part of the <laughs> too much of a big budget movie. I guess that would have been. But yeah. and you probably have to get the rights for it too. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, World Cup three. I liked it, and I would watch it again, especially over RoboCop two. Like, I'd probably watch Robocop 2 once in a while just to refresh, but not be like, oh, I'm so pu- hyped to, like, watch so. the movie again. <laughs> yeah, anything else we could say about this movie, Robocop 3 that we haven't mentioned? Uh, I guess I guess one-liners. Robocop, maybe he didn't have as many. Like, he had some. Yeah, uh, he didn't have as many, and they were yeah. kind of, like, cut short, too. I would like that part where, where he blows up the tank with the rocket. You know, he's on the rocket. He could have said, thank, thank you for <laughs> cooperation. <laughs> But he didn't say that would have been cool. That would have been like, yeah. It's always this extreme with the, with the yeah. jetpack thing. It's like might as well. Yeah, they should have, but they didn't take advantage. I guess Frank Frank Miller didn't think of it. But, yeah. well, oh, what about the the cigarette lighting? It's like, I'll light that for you, yeah, scum. That, and he blows out a flamethrower yeah, because I thought he was gonna light him up with his machine gun that, arm. That was pretty cool. Oh, what about <laughs> when little little girl reprogrammed at two hundred nine? And it was like. Eat lead, suckers! I yeah, was like, that was, that, was, <laughs> that, was, that was pretty funny. That was that was that was awesome and funny because he's supposed to be serious, but no, she, change she, it. She reprogram him. Actually, in, what did... in, in two seconds, I will be loyal as a puppy. Yeah, puppy. That's it. <laughs> that was pretty cool. It wasn't insulting. It was just. It was legit. It was funny. Yeah. Because I, I probably because everyone's like, oh, this is so bad. This is so bad that I didn't really have any expectations of it being good. But no, I actually kind of liked it. I like RoboCop three. Well, here's a thought. I don't know if you guys would have thought of this, but uh, if they ever did make a fourth one, I don't. I mean, it might be too late by now. But 
they never really did show what happened with Anne Lewis. Maybe they could they could use her as a Robocop. Never know. Maybe it could have been a, the first female Robocop. Uh, that could have worked. Actually. Potentially, or something on the line. Because mm. given the whole, like... I mean, when, when, he, when he, you know... Yeah, it had the Jesus kind of like Jesus thing. resurrection. Maybe, maybe never know. Never know if that if they. Had uh, I don't. That. I don't. <laughs> Nancy Allen would be. No, back she wouldn't reprise that role. But uh, I think they left it. Maybe if if the movie had done well, maybe. Oh, yeah, speaking of reprising, they yeah. had Robocop three also had scenes from the first movie too, like with. Uh, oh, the flashbacks. Yeah, yeah the flashback with uh, Clarence Barker shooting. So Kurt Will Smith <laughs> technically was in this film as. Yeah. Like. Um, reused footage and uh, Nancy Allen from the first movie saying like Murphy, it's me. Or Stop actually, it, it's you. Yeah, 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 yeah it's true. Yeah, I, I don't know if anything else we've missed on Robocop Three, uh... even though we just watched it. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, the trailer. The trailer kind of spoiled yeah, a lot of the big. Yeah, moments, we watched so... it afterwards, so it's a good. Like thing I that... have seen the trailer, but not that yeah, version I don't of it. That being that extensive, yeah, it really covered a lot <laughs> in like two minutes or whatever it was. Yeah, like it showed all the big scene, the ending too, which was like wow. Yeah, thank goodness it, we didn't. It too much. <laughs> thank goodness we didn't watch it. Like I've seen the trailer where he's on a jetpack, and that was pretty much it. I think that might have been the uh, the video trailer. You know, like when they released it on VHS or DVD. Oh yeah, that seems that's, like that's that would yeah, seem logical. That's what it seems like. But. I think, uh, well, we could have said more, but, they, you know, that'd be just details and stuff, so... But yeah, we recommend, uh, definitely watch the original. Yeah, uh, highly recommend it. I mean, look at all these DVDs. <laughs> I'm still trying to get the first game. <laughs> I'm still trying to get the first game, because hey, it's sh- actually decent. You should let it go, like Sally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, but yeah, definitely check out the original. Uh, second one, I mean, it has, it has some good, uh, I guess... Stop motion. Stop motion. So check it out for and that. You like the villain better. I did like uh, Kane's uh, Robocop 2. Was and it cool. does have like Peter Weller coming back as Robocop. So, so that was... out of respect, at yeah. least, you know, don't waste his time. That was okay. Um, <laughs> quote unquote, anyways. <laughs> Third one had had good moments uh it was it was entertaining yeah. it wasn't as good yeah some of the all. some of the acting felt kind of i guess lame but uh i mean they might like have... it wasn't terrible but it was yeah. kind of like laid back like when uh when bertha gets shot and then oh when she died well, she's Ni- just like nico's reaction like bertha it's like <laughs> it's like she's like go <laughs> yeah that was pretty <laughs> it was like what yeah that scene was was pretty poorly active but whatever I mean, it had its good moments. So, anyways, guys, uh, if you're yeah. if you're not a RoboCop fan, if you've never seen these movies, check them out. Check out the first one, definitely. Yes. Second one, if you want to. Third one, it's it's pretty good fun, so I'd recommend that. And the too. the new one, uh, I don't think you've seen yet. No, I haven't seen the new so, one completely. Uh, it's a remake, I guess. It's its own. It's, uh, it's a different retelling yeah. of it, which you know I can respect that. So I'd actually have to sit down and watch it properly, but I don't think I'll like it as much. But you know, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll we'll, we'll check, check it out at some point. Oh, uh, didn't you already see it though? I did, but it's okay. We'll watch it again. It's, it's fine. <laughs> and we'll take a look. I mean, if anything, at least they had the idea of Robo coming. It does have the theme. At yeah, least. it does have the. Th- actually, I don't know if it says for the whole movie, but yeah, it does, in the beginning it had yeah, the do 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 do. Yeah, the theme is there for a little bit, so that's good. And uh, Michael Keaton is actually in it as well, which is cool. Yeah, the Batman. Batman. <laughs> Which is funny because Robocop suit is all black and. Yeah, I think, I think that's why they did that pretty much. Uh, paying homage to that. But yeah, all right, yeah. guys. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for your cooperation. cooperation. And promise we'll be back next time. <laughs> Creep your move.